of the oldest mountains ever known. Rich men want to blow them up for a dirty black vein of coal. Then they lie to me and you, tell them us coal plants are clean. Not when they spew out CO2, arsenic, soot, and mercury. Now health and mother earth are in decline. And climate scientists tell us we're running out of time. Cause we desecrate our mother and we disappoint our father. Keep on burning fossil fuels at the altar of the dollar. Drilling a mile below the waves in the Gulf of Mexico. Oil men said that it was safe. Until the deep horizon blew Eleven people died that day Clear blue waters turned to grey BP told us they would pay But that didn't make it all okay The spill that bad should have made it plain to see We need to replace fossil fuels with cleaner energy Cause we desecrate our mother And we disappoint our father We keep on burning fossil fuels At the altar At the altar The border in Canada is a place where the caribou roam. Big corporations say so long as they destroy their home. They strip off the plants and animals, they strip off the flowers and the bees and so on. With no respect for the land or the people, they do anything for tops and oil. Now they want to build a new pipeline across. Our land. We have to put a stop to this. We have to take a stand. Cause we desecrate our mother and we disappoint our father. And we keep on burning fossil fuels at the altar. At the altar. Tell you about the golden toad that used to live and it lives no more. First victim of climate change, it came out to mate and there was no rain. God made us all two by two, send the golden toad back to you. We burn fossil fuels when you give us some. Lord, forgive us for what we've done. The golden toe is gone And we desecrate our mother And we disappoint our father We keep on burning fossil fuels at the altar At the altar Hello, my name is Todd Smith, and I wrote this song to encourage others to get involved in the fight against climate change. Uh, you can do that several ways. Um, first of all, join us in D.C. Uh, February 17th, 2013, for the uh, Ford on Climate Rally. Uh, 350.org and Sierra Club and others have, are sponsoring this rally. It will be the largest of its type. Uh, we're expecting tens of thousands of people there. We're asking uh, President Obama 
to both deny the uh, Keystone Pipeline and then to mo move forward on addressing climate change. Um, we're working in solidarity with our Canadian neighbors who have worked hard to fight uh, tar sand oil production and the um, export of that oil through pipelines, especially the uh, Keystone Pipeline. So um, if you can't make the rally, you can do something uh, as important, uh, probably at just as important, which is to take 15 minutes and write President Obama a handwritten letter expressing uh, your concerns for uh, climate change, asking him to move forward on climate change, and asking um, him to deny the permit for the Keystone Pipeline. Uh, secondly, um, go to citizensclimatelobby.org and check out um, the legislation we've been proposing for the last three years. It's a fee on carbon to address climate change and we're starting to get um, real traction on that now. Um, you can Google carbon fee and dividend, uh, check out the frequently asked questions to learn more about it, and then join us on an introductory call. Each month we have a one where you can find out how you can be the uh, volunteer citizens lobbyist for your district uh, or for your member of parliament. Um, so uh, I hope you'll get involved. Uh, I know you're already probably doing a lot of stuff and we pre appreciate everything you do. Um, you are the local, <laughs> you're the environmental hero for your area and uh, I hope to see you in D.C.